So, we just got a call from the Sandman Self Hotel. They're one of our clients. And their landlord property, they called us to see if we can go do a quote for them to re and regrade their area. Now, the first thing he said on the phone was, wow, that was fast. When people are interested, you need to seize them while they're interested because it's like they're hot and they're only going to get colder and colder the longer you put time into the sales process. So we did a submission on our website. Within five minutes, I gave him a call. Typically, you have about 15 minutes to an hour at most to get them while they're interested. Otherwise, they're shopping around other companies and other companies will beat you to it. So, gave him the call, asked for a few key questions, and now that I have the information we need, we're heading there right now. We're gonna give him the quote and we're gonna close this deal so that we can do it next week. Don't feed time. Don't put time into the equation. Get in there and get the job done. This sod, we're tearing up, it's too low, and we're gonna bring, put it on fresh loam, fresh new sod right away here. The power of 10 laborers right there. Us three just spent 10 minutes getting a little piece out. That thing just did it in three seconds. A skid steer is an investment in your business. Only you. coming to take, take away all of our sod that we have piled up there and we're gonna bring it over to the farmer's field to dump there if you took this stuff to the dump you're looking at 1200 bucks our farmer's field 50 bucks a load probably three loads total 150 bucks versus 1200 make sure you always find a place to put your debris now you can't just put saw down on rock hard loam you have to scratch it out so it looks grainy that way the roots can actually grab on connect and actually take we're gonna be doing this for the next two days. There's a lot of square footage to cover, 3,500 in particular. And um, we're excited to get done. We'll keep you guys updated how we go. This is our second truck and pop that's come. Each one of those uh, big trailers carry 10 to 12 yards of loam. So we still have quite a bit left. We're gonna use two truck and pops total today, which means we removed about 40, uh, 44 yards of uh, old sod. Here we have 12 yards of loam in combination with the four yards we got earlier today that we're gonna spread across there. We'll take an analysis at the very end to see how much more we may or may not need but it's coming along quite well. Huge reason why we got this job is because once they sent us um, an inquiry that they were interested, we arrived within an hour to see the site and gave them a proposal by the end of that day. What that shows people when you go the same day for a quote is one, you're hungry, you want the job. Think about it, you don't wanna do business people that business with people that are sort of lukewarm about things. You want someone that wants to work with you, that has the desire and the passion there. So by showing up the same day, you show that you're hungry, you want this job. Two, it shows that you have your stuff together. Most companies, you do an inquiry, they can't come there with between like, until like four or five days later. You show up the same day or within 48 hours, your lead is hot. They want the job, they're interested. The longer you take to get there, they're cooling off. Your competition's sweeping in, they might get the job or the person might decide, ah, I don't wanna do this anymore. I'll wait till next year, I'll wait till next year. I'll wait till next year. So once it leads hot, 
lock it in, book a time within 48 hours to do that quote and send them a proposal that very night. Even go back to your truck, have a printer and a laptop, do the quote with the person in person, go into your truck, say you need half an hour, print off the proposal, go in there, show them proposal in person and close the deal. If you can do that, your job will jump with being able to close. Closing is everything. And we got this job because when they asked us, we showed up the same day, we gave them the numbers, we went over the job and closed it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 2,500 square feet done our 3,500 square foot job. We've been going to crack dawn. We got here at 8 a.m. Started to um, bring in the loam right away, spread up the skids here, and we've been rolling the dirt ever since then. So as you can see here, we're almost done. We got a bit more dirt to pile through. We got to do the sides of the boulevard. We overwatered it a little bit, so we got to scoop out that water. But the trick is with the sod is that right before you lay it, get it slightly damp and put a hose, and then scrape it so it looks almost rainy like this. You'll find the roots really attach a lot better, but make sure it's not super hard stuff. At the same time though, make sure it is compacted before you grind it up so that it doesn't squish right through. You can see over here, we didn't compact it well enough and your foot can sink in it dry. So we're gonna roll this up, compact it a bit more, scratch it, roll it back on at the end of the job. But for now, we got 3,500 square feet, 1,000 more square feet to go, and for the sun, we have about two hours of light. If we finish today, we're getting beers at Shark Club, but only if we finish, so let's get to it.